some glowstone there. It's probably for something else. Okay. Uh, now we will go the way that we're supposed to go in the main quest. And we will find the key to that guy's house. I don't think it's this way. No. It's a dead end there. Okay. I need air. Come on. Faster. Movement saws all screwed up when you're underwater. Okay. And then this way. I know this maze since I built the map. And here we are. Read note to P4. This must be the key to Mr. Parker's house. Take it there and open the door. Alright. Got a lever. Key to Mr. Barker's house. Let's go back up. Oh wait, not this way. This way. And now let's swim back up. I have to fight the current all the way up. Stupid Minecraft currents are all messed up. Oh, jeez. Okay. And we have made it. Looks like it's dark outside. I can't quite tell, though. Yeah. It's nighttime. I need to open the door. Okay. Uh, Mr. Barker's house. Read note P5. It's a note from Mr. Barker. My name is Jerome Barker. Today I am leaving Pompervale. I have decided to do this because I cannot take the Enderman bombardments any longer. I also cannot stand that my house is flooded. I would go to the refugee camp nearby, but I figure what's the point? This town is never going to stop being attacked by the Enderman, and I doubt that they will ever be be able to move to, to pump all the water out so I'm going to move somewhere else maybe I'll move to Verendus Tower that seems like a happening place these days or maybe I'll go to Falsis anywhere is better than here right now but before I go I will make a stop at the refugee camp to say goodbye to some friends and give the Larsons back the key to their house you think to yourself maybe I should go check the refugee camp to see if I can gain access to the Larsons residence because according to this note, the key, should be the key should be there. Maybe there are still people there, too. The refugee camp is nearby, outside the city. Go and investigate. Okay. So first, let's... Ooh, another iron sword. I'll come in handy later. And some food. We're, so we still have plenty left on this iron sword, though. Okay, to the refugee camp, which is this way. Okay, refugee camp is over here. Hopefully, oh, there's a skeleton there. We're probably going to have to fight a few mobs on the way. Hi, sheep. There's a sheep. Okay. Pompervale refugee camp for those who have lost their homes in the flood. Read note P6. Oh, God. Die. Die. I need to eat. Okay. I am going... Ah, gar, gar, gar. Jesus. So many mobs. So many. Okay. I'm going to set my game mode to creative real quick while I read that note. Which note again? P6? Okay. P6. Note P6. You enter the refugee camp, and to your dismay, there appear to be no people left here. They must have given up hope and decided to leave. At least you can still look for the key to the Larson's house. Okay. So here we have the Cadbury's. Uh... the same name as that other lady, I think. Supplies storage. Read note P7. 
It's a note. I am the quartermaster slash head cook of the refugee camp. Conditions here are terrible. We rarely have any food. Most of what we do have is rotten. I'm surprised that people still stay here, but I assume the ones who do either don't don't ha want to leave because of how much they love Pomper Vale, or they can't leave because they are just too sick, or old, or broke. This camp's conditions certainly aren't helping the sick and the old, but we're trying as hard as we can. So, got some raw beef, rotten flesh, and both. So yeah, they certainly didn't have any food, and I didn't mean to break that. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Some random house. I wonder if I can sleep there and make it day. Sleep in this refugee tent. Cool. Okay. Uh, and the Larsons. Read note P8. You search... You search the chest, and surprisingly, the key to the Larson's house is inside. Now you can go there and see what's inside. Okay. I don't know why everyone has the key to everyone's house here, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to set my game mode back to survival. Not the Ninka turkey, the ninja turkey. There we go. Okay, back into Pomper Vale, and there's an Enderman right there. They're the enemy. And that one just warped. They are the enemy. Do not look at them. Cannot look at thine enemy. Or what is it? I think it's the Klingons who say, Don't drink with thine enemy. I was not planning on drinking with that Enderman. But still, don't drink with thine enemy. Okay, the Larson's house. <coughs> this house right here. The one with all the water on it. Let's try the front door. Let's see. The Larson's residence. Read note P9. The front door is broken and will not open. Let's see if there is a side door. Alright. There's a side door over here. Let's open it with our newly found key. Okay. Read note P10. It's a note left by the Larsons. We were the first to be hit by the flood. We were sleeping, and then suddenly we were woken up by the sound of an explosion, and then the piercing chill of water. The Enderman put a hole in the side of the land right above our house, which caused water from the lake to flow through. It came down with such fero fero ferocity, ferocity? I don't know, that it broke through our sunroof. And then it began to flood the rest of the city. We cannot live in these conditions. Luckily, the mayor has built a refugee camp near the city. We will go there. We are close friends with the mayor, though. We have a key to his house, so we are going to leave it in our chest for him to pick it up. So this chest holds a cooked pork chop, raw beef, which we're not going to take, and a lever for to the mayor's house. And I believe if we go up here, we can... Uh, we can... There's a secret in the lake. I can't remember if I actually put one in or not, but let's check. This is the lake that's flooding Pomper Vale. Aha! Here we go. Secret. Five diamonds. Cool. Okay, now to the mayor's house. and I need to eat. Hi, I'm eating underwater. That doesn't make any sense. Minecraft logic. Anyway. Now, technically, you could use this, these waters to just break into the Larson's house, but, you know, what's the fun of that? Anyway. The mayor's house. Someone really liked art. Yes, they did. Look at all these paintings. Read note 39. Okay, 39. Frederick speaks to you through the walkie-talkie. Hello, it's me. I can see that you are inside the mayor's house. I recommend you search this area thoroughly, because since the mayor is a government official, he is likely to have the key. No promises, though. You never know. And before I go in here, because this is where you're supposed to go to like, end the uh, place, let's just go in here really quick. I don't think there's anything in this house. No. <laughs> okay, never mind. Just to show that... 
there's nothing worth looking at there. I don't know why I'm randomly swinging my sword. Okay. Yeah, this guy really liked art. Lots of art. Okay. Um, up the stairs. Okay. There's a hole, so let us sprint across. Whee! Oh, I missed. Let's try again. Not sure if walking or swimming is faster. Swimming is probably faster. Okay, try. Let's try this one more time. Oh, actually, first let's check out his balcony. Pretty fancy. Anyway, let's try this. Let's uh, try this. Oh, wait, I wasn't sprinting. Oh, we made it. Here we got the mayor's room. Nice view of the city. And, oh my god, a switch leads this way. Read note 40. Frederick speaks again. Ah, a secret passage. This is starting to look promising. Keep up the good work. What is this? A face. A face on the wall. Read note 41. Zero one zero zero one zero 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 one one one. Lots of zero zero ones, which actually you can't really you can't see it because the Fraps isn't recording the note. But I remember I put in a bunch of zero ones because this thing is supposed to be a computer. Actually, before all the zeros and ones, it says a giant screen with a face stands in front of you. The face begins to move and starts talking, and it says a bunch of zeros and ones. Let us go on the internet really quick and find a binary to. Uh, uh, what's it called? Regular text converter. And find out what this message says. Okay, text to encode. Wait, no. We want binary to encode. So let's paste the binary and to text. Uh. Hello. Okay, here... <laughs> Here, okay, so here's what all the ones and O's say. Hello, I am a supercomputer. I reside over this facility. My name is the Pompervale Enderman Defense System OS5. Please enter a command. Also, the cake is a lie. That's what that says. Okay, anyway, now it says, You then ask it to speak English. The screen begins to speak again. Sorry about that. I am too used to speaking in my native language. I, but I will switch to English for now so you can understand me. You are the first visitor I have had for a while now. All of, vi all of the vis villagers left a long time ago. You ask him what he is and what he was used for. Oh, well, I am a supercomputer. I am the Pompervale Enderman Defense System. The villagers used me to help track, fight, and develop strategies against the Enderman. But at last, they gave up and left. You ask him if he knows where the Enderman base key is, and you also tell him that it is imperative that you receive it in order to stop them. Oh, well yes, the key is in my possession, but I cannot simply give it to you. The people who created me wanted to ensure that the key was hidden inside me, that, wait, that if the key was hidden inside me, that no Enderman could get to it, so they set up things that only a human could bypass. Now, to get the key, you will have to enter my insides and ex execute a few commands within me in order to open the way to the key. Oh, once you have opened the way, a few challenges will stand in your way. I will explain in more detail as we go. To begin, pull that lever to open the way inside me. Change difficulty to peaceful now. Alright. Alright. Computer inside access. And may as well show off behind the scenes while we're at it. You pull that lever, and it activates that those two pistons, and there you go. Nothing that special. So let's go down here, and read note P11. Well, actually, first, it's a computer! Oh my god! It's the inside of a supercomputer. There we got the processor, some other chip, heat sink... Uh, some other chip, I don't know what chip, RAM, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, read note P11. The computer speaks to you through an intercom. 
Below is my motherboard. Please do not mess with it. You could break me. In fact, don't go down there at all, please. Okay, well, I will show you behind the scenes for that stuff later, because we will be going down into the computer's motherboard at a later point. Read note 42. 42 says... The computer begins to speak again. All right. Now, in order to enter the way to the key, you will have to use some commands. I am not programmed to be able to open the way myself as a security precaution. So to open the way, you must use these commands yourself. To do this, use the levers in this room. Begin by pulling the CD gate open lever. Then a message will be displayed telling you what to do next. Okay. CD gate open. Directory change to gate open. Read note 43. The computer speaks again. Process complete. Please proceed. Now proceed to the run gate open.exe lever. Okay. Run gate open.exe. Gate open.exe started. Read note 44. The computer speaks again. Process complete. The program has, won, has run, and the way should be open now. Go through the door leading to the challenges and complete them. Then the key will be yours. Okay, behind the scenes. So, when you pull this lever, it sends a redstone pulse up here and around to a piston somewhere. Uh, where is it? <laughs> there it is, which opens this, allowing you to see it. Then when you pull this lever, it uh, sends a redstone pulse to a piston up there removing the piston, allowing you to see that sign, and it also sends a redstone pulse over here, uh, over this, it's a big bunch of redstone here, and sends it, can't get up, there we go, to here, and opens the way there, and also sends it to a piston down here, which allows you to go through this basic pi piston door stuff going on there. So now let's go down. Down, we're going to have to go down quite a ways. It goes down almost to bedrock. So yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not that far. I can already see the end. All right. Read note 45. The computer begins to speak again. Welcome to the challenge room. Be careful not to fall. Here you must complete three tasks in order to get to the key. The Pompervale government put this in as a security precaution, because Enderman would not be able to complete any of these tasks. Be warned, though, some of these tasks are difficult. Get going, and good luck. Change your difficulty to easier normal now. Alright. Changing my game mode. So, the challenge room. Task 1. Here we are. Task 1. Task 1. Read note P12. P12. The sign reads, three levers. One will lead to victory, one will do nothing at all, and one will release the zombies. Choose wisely, my friend, and you will be rewarded. Okay. Three levers, and a thing over there. How do we... Which one should we pull? This one. The water has been released. What will it do? I think that was the one that did what we were, what we were supposed to do. But let's pull the other ones, just to see what they do. Okay, that was probably the nothing at all one. This one. Sorry if you heard my sister. Uh, open the zombies! Oh, crap! Yeah, okay. Um, well, the way should be open. Here's our victory. Read note 46. The computer begins to speak again. No, by the way, that is not the key to the Enderman base. That key will simply allow you to open the neck the door to the next task. But good job. Take that key and open the door to the next task. Two more tasks to go. Alright. So we have the, t the key to the next task. 
may as well take this opportunity to do some behind the scenes. Again, lots of behind the scenes. Okay, so this, we have a system of levers here. When you pull this lever, well actually, this lever sends redstone signal all the way around. And I can't get past that pulser. Down here, past some gold, and up here to a piston, which break, which gets rid of a uh, piston blocking this water, letting it go down that pipe. And, you know, I'm not going to follow all the redstone paths. It, it, they all go to pistons, which let go, let the water flow. And now the water's breaking free. And what happens when, to activate these is the water, go, water goes down here and uh, breaks the, a redstone signal, which is, as you can see, has a redstone torch there, which then sends it over here and activates something. This one in particular activates, uh, let's see, where does this go? This is, whoa, why is there lava there? Oh, geez. Uh, we should probably block that off. Wait, why am I trying to block it off with wood? That's a bad idea. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I think, yeah, this is the victory one. It activates these pistons, which pull back so you can get in there. That's really all I'm going to show. That's all you really need to see. You don't need to see how it activates the zombie door, too. So, okay. Now, task two. Get rid of this wood. And task three. Read note P13. Okay, the sign reads, In this room there is a tree, a tree that will lead you to victory. But where is this tree? That is your task. But be careful, for in this fake environment there lurks something sinister. So you have a fake little place going on here, a weird house, wall trees, a wall river. What is going on here? Wait! I am the key. Trust me. Burn the tree. Light the block that explodes within to reveal the way. Well, we already have flint and steel, but... Burn the tree! The tree must be burned. And now I'm on fire. Now we wait. And a t block of TNT fell out from the tree that we burned, revealing this... Victory! Read note P14. The computer speaks to you. Great job. Now take that lever to the next task. Now to get out, we, uh... Uh... There's supposed to be a way out, but... It's not, like... Well, there we go. And yes, task two is complete. Now, task three, the final task. Wait, what? Read note P15, then read note 47. <coughs> the computer speaks again. Sorry about this. I, I am really sorry about this, but there is no third task, and you can't have the key. No one can. The government of Pompervale put this in as a trap to whoever may come looking for it. So I'm afraid you will sit in this jail until you starve to death. Harsh, I know, but the key must never be found. It is too dangerous to fall into the wrong hands. Goodbye, friend. Note 47 now. It's Frederick on the walkie-talkie. I just heard everything through your walkie-talkie. The computer has trapped you there forever? Let me see if I can find you a way out of there. A few minutes pass, and then Frederick speaks again. By scanning the schematics of the area you are in, and the computer that governs it, I think I have found you a way out, and a way to get to the key. To get out, simply go down the hall to your left, hack the system, and override the door. Then to get to the key, you will have to destroy the computer. Not simply shut it down, but destroy it. You will have to... You will have to run its self-destruct program in order to do so. It, I will help you hack it in order, to, in order to bypass the password necessary to do this. 
But now go down the hall. I will brief you on what to do when you get there. Okay. Let's go destroy this computer. And up a very long ladder. It'll take us a while to get up this. Always takes a while. <coughs> and we're almost there. And sweet. Okay. Now down this hall. I don't know why I blocked. That was an accident. Okay. Read note 48. Frederick speaks to you. I have found you a way inside the computer's motherboard. Now, across the motherboard on the other side, there is a door that leads to the self-destruct switch. All you have to do is pull a lever, and I, I already hacked the system remotely to allow you to execute the self-destruct program without a password. The door is located near the RAM chips. RAM chips, the tall green things. Next to you is a chest filled with supplies, should you need them. What kind of supplies? Cook pork chops. Cool. Right. Here we are in the motherboard. See, that's where we were before, and we are back in the motherboard. So, behind the scenes. So in here, we have a slow redstone pulser, which sends pulse out here to these things, which all connect to a bunch of redstone. Just a bunch of pulsing redstone to make it look like a, like, you know, the computer is functioning. It's not actually a computer, obviously. So now up here, Okay, read note P16. Oh wait, no, first we we have to uh, pull the lever before we read note P16. Uh, behind the scenes. So, when we pull that lever, it will send a redstone signal up here, which will open this door, and it will also see which way is the best way to go to get into it without breaking the signal. Okay, here we go. So it will also send a redstone signal down to here to uh, a bunch of freaking TNT. So yeah. I'm just gonna show you that before it uh, actually set it off. Okay, let's go back the way we came in. Alright. Now, read note P16. As you pull the lever, the computer is able to say one last thing. Wait, what? Why? Why would you do this? Do you know what I am? I am a self-aware supercomputer, and I am alive! Why would you kill me like this? Is the key really worth it? How did you even hack the system in order to run that program? I, I can't stop it. I'm gonna... That's all the computer could say before it self-destructed. Frederick speaks through the walkie-talkie. Well, that's that. Destroying the computer should have opened a door that will lead to the key. Go and get it. Well, we actually haven't destroyed it yet, but here we go! Let's watch the show. Oh, jeez. That computer just got owned. And the door is now open. Let's go. Read note 49. Frederick speaks through the walkie-talkie. You did it. You got the second key. That's great news. You are done here. Climb the stairs to the exit. We'll have a minecart track set up for you that will bring you back to the base. Choose your difficulty to peaceful now. Okay. We've got the second key to the Enderman base. Sweet. Okay. I think I'm going to end the recording here, and next time we will make the journey back to the main base, and then to the next area on this adventure map. So until then...